this video is going to be a little more on the serious side. Um, I'm going to throw a couple jokes here and there, but it's going to be mainly just serious. I have other videos you could watch or you could watch someone else, but I give you my I give you my warning. Now let's jump right into it, boys. So in case you guys don't know who Cryotic is, he's a guy that posts gameplay videos onto his channel. He right now has over 2.5 million subscribers and he used to play or be a part of a lot of videos with people such as PewDiePie and Cinema Tales Ken and a lot of bigger YouTubers back in the day. Um, that, that's how at least how I got to know him. Uh, my first impressions of Cryotic was that he was very chill. He was a very nice guy. All of this came to me as a shock. So in case you don't know why I'm talking about him right now, and it's because of this video that he just released. It is with this video called Cry Talks, we stopped being genuine a long time ago. So uh, I briefly saw this. It was like two in the morning or something. Uh, FYI, I haven't slept, <laughs> if you could tell. But um, yeah, I was just scrolling through YouTube and then I saw this video. What caught my eye was we stopped being genuine a long time ago. This was gonna be a juicy one, to say the least. And also, if you could tell by the description, it's crazy. Let's commentate on this. I have a weird position on YouTube where I've seen a lot of things from a lot of perspectives and a lot of angles. And something that a lot of people, myself included, so before you start to think you're a fucking hypocrite. <laughs> Me. I'm a fucking hypocrite. Me. That's how you're gonna start your quote unquote apology video. That's how you're gonna start it. So, Cryotic, you already displayed yourself as being the victim right from the get go, saying that I've seen different perspectives and you've been through all of this. You come out saying that I'm a hypocrite. Me, what did I even do? I just started watching the video. <laughs> so I really want to know why you're calling me a hypocrite just by the first few seconds of me clicking on the video. I want you to understand that I'm coming at this from a perspective of someone who genuinely does not like past me because past me was immature. So you're coming from this from a perspective of you not liking your past you? What are you talking about? Yes, he, later on he's gonna be talking about how he had all these interactions with underage girls. And by the way, he just slips in like it was nothing. What are you talking about, dude? Oh, before you start to think you're a fucking hypocrite, I want you to understand that I'm coming at this from a perspective of someone who genuinely does not like past me because past me was immature. So what does you being immature have to do with you doing things with underage women, all right? What, what's that have to do with anything? It's like the whole depersonalization all over again. Like that makes no sense. Pedophilia and immaturity aren't the same thing. Past me didn't accept that he could actually be wrong. Past me thought he was infallible. Every single time somebody makes a mistake in the world, people are like, man, I hope nobody finds out. But what you did was a big fucking mistake. <laughs> <laughs> By far the one of the worst mistakes you could ever do. Some Epstein level shit, bro. And I think the thing that people realize is that's because from the fucking get-go, we're just taught, man, mistake better hide it, otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble. Especially when that mistake has to deal with underage women cry. Especially then, then you'd want to hide it too. We forgot to actually teach lessons instead of just getting mad. Okay, yes, I'm so sorry, Cry, for not teaching you this lesson. I'm so sorry. Here, let me teach it to you. It'll be real quick and simple. Don't fuck with underage women. And so people grow up with a lot of pride and they realize, man, I'm so perfect. So if anybody fucks up, I'm gonna project a lot of insecurities on those people. All right, Cry, this is probably another lesson that you have to learn as well. Nobody thinks that they're perfect. Everyone makes mistakes, and in their own right, they want to hide it. However, there's a difference between making a mistake and with something that can actually be considered as a felony. Because I'm infallible. When I was younger, I started this YouTube because I didn't really have a purpose in life. 
I needed something to give me some kind of purpose. I didn't have any actual confidence. I got my confidence from people telling me, man, you're great. And this is where I connected with Cry. I also had the same confidence issue. And until recently, I still did. But it's the same here. Until people started saying that I was pretty good at doing what I'm doing, started liking my music, started liking my videos, after I changed a few things and yeah, my confidence boosted. I finally felt like I fit in and I had a purpose in this world. However, that doesn't still change the fact that you did this. That was immature. Also doing this, I had never really left my room for so long. I'd grown so much that I didn't realize I was a fucking adult, but I was mentally a child. That is- Okay, I'm gonna tell you this one more time. You can't blame that you're mentally a child. Okay, you go go to court and tell that to the judge, okay? See what he's gonna tell you. You saying that you're mentally a child isn't gonna change anything. Unless you outright say that you're like mentally challenged or retarded, because that's how you're sounding right now, Cry. You sound retarded. An excuse for the record. I've always felt disingenuine because I was never open with people about things because I was always hiding things. I was never able to be genuine with people anymore after the fact that I cheated on my girlfriend with people who I didn't realize were even underage in the first place. In other words, he de depersonalized and cheated on his significant other. He just slips in that, oh, I didn't know they were underage, by the way. Like, whoa, 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 buddy. <laughs> Hold up. Put this, put this shit on park, okay? Explain this. So yes, I'm sorry. But I promise you, I'm not that same fucking person anymore. As great Eminem has said once before, and I'll say it one more time. Cock backwards is still cock, you prick. Sent that person who I was. And I'm sorry that I was hiding who I was this whole time. I've never wanted to be on a pedestal in the first place. Now, I hate when people say that they didn't want to be put on this pedestal on the first place. But if you're going to be doing this kind of work, where people will put you on a higher standard because they idolize you and they follow you. People like me, because I saw the type of personality and the type of person you're putting yourself out there on the internet. So you can't blame it on us. You're not the victim here, bro. You're not the victim. Don't put your blame on someone else. You have to be kind of mindful of the kind of stuff that you want to put on your platform, okay? And. A part of that platform is you and if you're the platform people are gonna look up to you because you have so many subscribers you have all these so obviously people are gonna idolize you it's just a part of it if you can't handle it you shouldn't have done it in the first place and I think that's because I was always afraid of people knowing who I really was just some lonely guy trying to find a purpose just some lonely guy who genuinely is someone who would be considered a basement dweller but luckily I live in Florida so there's no basement Bruh. Did he actually just try to throw in a joke right there? In a serious video like this? It took me 31 years. It took me until 10 minutes before my 31st birthday to realize I was going in a constant projection of fucking nothing because I never really accepted who I was. And it's true what he's saying right there. Yeah, yeah. It was exactly 10 minutes before his birthday. I was there. I was there always made excuses, and I'm fucking sorry for that. I'm not gonna say any more because this is not some pity party. This is more addressing the things that need to be said, more so than giving people their dirt or tea or whatever the fuck they need. I just feel like people need to be able to express themselves, be them victims or not. You cry are very desperately trying to play yourself as a victim, but you're not. You're not, bro. You're not. I always considered myself a victim because of the way I was raised. However, that kind of mentality made me the actual instigator as opposed to the protagonist that I always thought I was. And there you go. Him saying it, exactly what I was talking about this whole time. Him playing himself as a victim, even till now. Obviously later on in this video he starts putting more of the blame on himself, but he should have done that from the get-go. Everyone said you're so perfect all the time. That's a horrible mindset to take and everyone should really be able to look into themselves and see that they need to grow they need to stop excusing every little thing they do because they're afraid of the repercussions i have in the description an enlisted video uh, showing that i would really like people to understand that it is okay to express their feelings i feel like a lot of people are afraid of ridicule prejudices and bullying they are afraid of 
people picking on them because they're showing their genuine human emotion. No cry, it's not about being bullied or prejudiced or racial discrimination or whatever else you're gonna say after that, okay? It's about the fact that you did a crime. You used your platform to seduce underage women, cry. That's what you did. And that's why you didn't want to speak out of it. It's not about you expressing your emotions or anything. It's about you expressing a crime with underage women. That's why you wanted to hide it. Not because everyone's going to bully you or anything. You know what you did was wrong. I feel like people need to be okay with doing that. Even if it makes them be the bad guy. Because that's the most human thing you can possibly do. And I'm fucking sorry again. But I promise I've changed. See you in the next one. I'm not gonna lie that I didn't like him before. Um, I watched, like I said, I saw his Undertale series and I really developed a kind of uh, viewer YouTuber bond, I guess, that I developed with YouTubers. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone else does. And I'm pretty sure if you didn't get caught, you'd still be doing it, bro. I know. I know because I'd be doing some of the stuff I used to do if I didn't get caught. It's just human nature, bro. If a kid could get away with stealing a cookie from the jar, it's the point of him coming out on it. He's not gonna stop. No one knows he's doing it. What's the point? He benefits from it. He gets a cookie out of the jar. Edit for clarity. No, I was never with anyone underage on the physical level. Um, I, I, yeah, bro. Uh, I didn't do anything with her in person. Uh, so, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not as bad, bro. Uh, it's, it's not as bad. Uh, if it was all in person, then yeah, it would have been really bad. Yes, I know he says afterwards it's not to diminish the, the act that he did. But there's a reason why he put it there. So all in all, it's up to you guys to make up your own minds. Um, I, I'm only here to deliver you my opinion. And obviously, I don't think that whatever he said in this video excuses anything that he did. You're never going to be excused for this, bro. All right, guys, this is going to be it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Mr. Cher, how you doing? <laughs> oh! M6! Oh oh, that's the door closed! Oh. Fuck! Oh. What, what, what the hell happened? No! Cry, are you dead? Cry, I'm down! What? Cry! The crowbar's not good enough! They're coming for you, man! No, it's Cry! No! No, Cry! Why did you do it? Why? <laughs> I didn't mean to do it! Ah, uh, no! It's just something that happened.